Hi everyone, uh, Patrick here. So today's video is not a happy one. It certainly is not a happy one for me, but this is also something that I must do every year. If you have watched my bookshop tour video, then you will have, well, then you will know that I now own more than a thousand books in my uh, in my collection in my library, library of Patrick Leo. That's what I usually call it. But at the rate I'm going with how many books keep on coming to my place uh, every month some sacrifices have to be made and it is not an easy thing for me to to part ways with some of my books but sometimes i do i do have to uh, prepare some space for other books to come and that means i have to unhaul some of my books and for today's video i will show you i guess uh, 30 books that i am going to unhaul and of course this is not a comprehensive list i still have some other books that i want to unhaul as well but for now let's start with 30 books first because it is not easy uh, believe it or not it is not easy to unhold books uh, where i live and i want to unhold these 30 books first before i unhold some other books now the reasons for unholding these books are different sometimes it is because i have doubles or maybe it's because i have lost interest in the series i have no plans to do a second read or maybe something else and i will mention why i decided to unhold some of these books so yeah I will just begin immediately. In today's video, I will be unhauling 30 books. I will start from the first six. So this one is the Legends of the First Empire series by Michael J. Sullivan. Age of Myth, Age of Sword, Age of War, Age of Legends, Age of Death, and also Age of Empire. As far as cover art goes, the quality of cover art, this is illustrated by Mark Simonetti. And I absolutely love them all. But the main reasons why I'm parting with this one it is merely because uh, where I live, I live in a tropical country, Indonesia, and U.S. mass market paperback, the one that is done in this small format, most of the time they don't survive in this country. It, it is so easy for them to get damaged, yellowing, and also they can probably last about one or two times reading and then their spines will break. And I think because of that, and right now, I'm not sure when I will do a second read of Legends of the First Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. I did enjoy the series. Age of War is my favorite in the series, but I have the ebooks of the entire series on my Kindle. So I think I will try to unhaul this series, Legends of the First Empire. That's six books uh, at once. It will be sad for me to part way with this one, but I feel like I have to do this. Maybe, maybe one day I will get the hardcover edition of this series or maybe a deluxe edition assuming that is coming uh, someday maybe but after that speaking of u.s mass market paperback the next series that i'm going to unhaul this is nine books immediately and this is three trilogies so this is uh, the broken empire trilogy red queen's war trilogy and also book of the ancestor trilogy by mark lawrence yeah nine books the broken empire consists of prince of thorns kings of thorns and also emperor of thorns red queen's war consists of Prince of Fools, The Liar's Key, and also The Wheel of Osheim. And finally, Book of the Ancestor consists of Red Sister, Grey Sister, and Holy Sister. I have mentioned it many times now that I have mixed reading experience when it comes to Mark Lawrence books. And these are some of the last remaining US mass market paperback that I own in my uh, collection of books. I still have Malazan, Book of the Fallen. I think I might end up unholding that too eventually. And also Miss Bourne Trilogy, but I will never unhaul Miss Bourne Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson because that's the first set of books that I buy that I bought with my own money. But back to my point with Mark Lawrence books. I felt mixed about the Broken Empire Trilogy and also Red Queen's War Trilogy. So I don't have uh, too much of a bad feeling or sad feeling at parting way in saying goodbye to the Broken Empire and also Red Queen's War Trilogy. But I do feel sad in saying goodbye to Book of the Ancestor Trilogy. As I said, I don't want these books to get damaged and made it even harder for me to unhold these books. Plus, Book of the Ancestor Trilogy is one of my favorite trilogies. But with the announcement from Grim Oak Press recently about uh, Book of the Ancestor Omnibus Edition illustrated by Francesca Resta, I think I will try to get myself a copy of that Omnibus Edition. So in a way, I'm just replacing uh, the Book of the Ancestor Trilogy for a better edition. That's the plan anyway. I still don't know the price of Book of the Ancestor uh, Grim Oak Press Edition. But yeah, I will be parting ways 
with almost all of my Mark Lawrence books. Once these are gone, that means the only one remaining in my collection of books, uh, physical copies, will be Book of the Ice Trilogy and also the book that wouldn't burn. These are all in hardcover format and I'm happy to have them in my collection of books. So we are pretty much halfway through this unhold video. And for the next 12 books I'm going to mention, they are all trilogies. I will start from the first one. This is the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. I recently posted a video talking about do not judge the quality of books uh, from the cover art and this is a good example because I am not a fan of the cover art of the Broken Earth Trilogy. I think this doesn't reflect anything about the books at all. Anything. You cannot tell about the content of the books at all from looking at this cover art. And when this kind of situation happen, I think I will be okay with just having the ebooks and I have the ebooks of the Broken a trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Great trilogy, by the way. Really love the fifth season and also the final book in the trilogy, The Stone Sky. I had mixed feelings about the second book, Obelisk Gate, but yeah, I really love the first and the third book in the trilogy. But yeah, I think I'll be saying goodbye to this edition of the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. And then after that, I'll be saying goodbye to one of the first set of books that I ever own, and this is The Gentleman Bastards by Scott Lynch. Now, you might consider me insane or something for saying goodbye to this, uh, to this trilogy. Well, it is not a trilogy. This is the first three books in a supposedly series of seven books. But uh, the first three books in The Gentleman Bastards are getting the Broken Binding treatment and they are coming to my place. So this is not completely saying goodbye. Again, this is just replacing this edition with a better hardcover edition published by The Broken Binding. I am not crazy. The Gentleman Bastards is one of my favorite series of all time. So there's no way I'm saying goodbye to this series without uh, having a replacement or a better edition coming. And the same also goes uh, to the next trilogy. And this is the Poppy War Trilogy by R.F. Kuang. The cover art of the Poppy War Trilogy illustrated by Jung Shan Inc. I think they are so gorgeous. But also, I feel like considering how much I love this trilogy, I know that there is a super mixed reception when it comes to the Poppy War Trilogy, but I personally loved it despite all the flaws. And with that in mind, I think I wanted a better addition to the Poppy War Trilogy. Not the subterranean press edition though, even though they are so gorgeous, but I'm not crazy enough to spend that much money on the secondhand market of the Poppy War Trilogy because they are sold out now and it is not easy and cheap uh, to get a copy of the subterranean press edition of the Poppy War Trilogy. However, after scouring through Amazon recently, it seems like the Poppy War might be getting a new illustrated edition coming this year. Yeah, that's right. There's a new hardcover illustrated edition by Jungshan Inc. as well coming uh, this year. And I think this will be available to everyone because it is available on Amazon and other book outlet. Knowing that this is coming, I feel safe in unholing this paperback edition uh, of the Poppy War trilogy and, and then eventually replacing all three of them with a better illustrated hardcover edition. I hope uh, the second book, The Dragon Republic, and also the third book in the trilogy, The Burning God, will also get this illustrated edition treatment. I think it should be safe. I mean, Poppy War, until now, the sales for this trilogy is still pretty damn good. So I think it would be crazy for the publisher to not continue uh, the treatment for the illustrated edition, even though this is, even though we still don't have a look at the first book but I am confident it will happen and then after that this is the same situation uh, this is for Red Rising uh, trilogy by Pierce Brown one of my top favorite series of all time and also currently at the number one spot together with the Sun Eater by Christopher Rocchio as the best sci-fi series but I'm going to unhold the first three books simply because well I already own the hardcover edition of the Red Rising trilogy uh, sent to me by my patron. It was the Fairy Loot Iron Edition and I'm happy to own that. At the same time, even though I say that, it is still very sad to actually say goodbye to this paperback edition of Red Rising Trilogy. This is just like The Gentleman Bastards, one of the first set of books that I ever own. And yeah, it will be sad for me to say goodbye to this. So in total, that's 27 books that I am going to unhaul. And the next one, uh, speaking of sci-fi, this is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I own two copies of this, and this is one of the most uh, engaging sci-fi book for newcomer to the to the sci-fi genre. And I think 
because I have two copies of this, I want other readers to experience reading Dark Matter. Plus, there is a TV show adaptation of this book coming, I think, next month on Apple TV. And I think it will be good for other readers to experience reading the book first. And speaking of double copies, I guess the same also apply to the next and the final two books I'm going to unhold today. And the next one is... Uh, the Lost War by Justin Lee Anderson. This is not double copy. I actually have three copies of The Lost War by Justin Lee Anderson. And I love this book. This is the first book in the Aedin saga. I haven't read The Bitter Crown yet, but because I own three books, three of the same edition somehow. So I've decided to unhold this book and hopefully a fantasy reader, even though they are so rare in my country and city, hopefully they will, I don't know, be interested in this one and hopefully they will love reading The Lost War. Because personally speaking, I had such a great time reading The Lost War and the ending to this one is still one of the most memorable ending to the first book of a series that I have ever read. Really great book. And finally, the last book that I'm going to unhaul today, this will be for the first, the first book that I managed to finish uh, this year. And it is Heliotrope by Pamel Pickering. Same reason as the previous two books, I own two copies of this one. I'm keeping uh, the signed edition for myself. And this is just like, let's say, Dark Matter. I do think that this will be suitable to newcomer to fantasy genre. It is heartwarming, it is also easy to read, and even though the middle section do contain a lot of description about the setting and all that, well, the entire book can be considered as quite descriptive. In some section, I definitely think it was too descriptive, uh, especially about the setting, that it ended up slowing down the pacing a bit. But overall, the first and the third part uh, of Heliotrope, it was really good. I end up finishing the third part of Heliotrope in one day. And yeah, as I said, I think this will be suitable to newcomer to the fantasy genre. As I unhold this one, once this has been picked up, hopefully that reader will end up loving the fantasy genre more. But yeah, I am keeping the signed edition for myself. So yeah, that's it. That's the 30 books that I plan to unhaul uh, this month. But I don't know how long it will take for me to unhaul this. As I said, it won't be easy for me to unhaul these books where I live. But again, uh, I don't know. Uh, do you do you feel the same as I do about this? Somehow, I always have a hard time saying goodbye to some books that I own. Quite a lot of them, anyway. Even though I own two copies, sometimes three copies, I still feel sad sometimes about saying goodbye uh, to uh, many books that I own. But as I always say, spaces are limited, and I will be talking about the books that I acquired last month uh, in my next video. You will see what I'm talking about. I think in that video, I will feature about 10 or 15 books. I got about 15 books in the month of March, and these saying goodbye to these 30 books, well, the holes will be filled immediately. They are filled uh, already. So yeah, I think that's really pretty much it for me today. Do let me know whether uh, you would like to see me unhaul more books or not, because if not, I will limit myself from creating this kind of video. But sometimes I do like to uh, let you people know that I do also unhaul books, not only acquire and buy them, but also unhaul some books because it is a necessity. I don't have an infinite space to store my books, even though I really want to, but you have seen the chaotic situation of my bookshop tour, and yeah, I have to maintain control of the situation. So yeah, I think uh, that's really it for me today. Do let me know whether you do a lot of unhauling or not. And also do tell me whether you enjoy watching book unhaul videos or not. And yeah, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.